Hello, and welcome back to Modded 360s and you. My name is Jeff, and in this video we'll be covering a tool that's used to unlock otherwise restricted Xbox Live content. The name of this tool is none other than XM360, so without any further ado, grab yourself your floppy disk with all the required files, and let's get to installing. First, download and copy the files to a USB and insert it into the console, then open up Aurora. From here, press the back button, and then select File Manager. Head on down to USB 0 and then select the XM360 folder by pressing X. Copy the XM360 folder, then pressing right bumper, go down to HDD1, and then into the homebrew folder, where you'll paste the XM360 folder. Once the copy is complete, head back to the main dashboard and press start. Head down to content and click scan now under manage paths. This will add XM360 to your dashboard in addition to downloading the cover art. Now boot into XM360, the first thing you'll be greeted with is a page showing all your Xbox Live content. If you'd like to change this, simply press right bumper. The first thing you're going to want to do is select the button that says Rescan All. This will scan the hard drive for all available DLC and Xbox Live Arcade content. If any of your arcade content shows up as locked, simply go down and click the Unlock XBLA button. Now the reason you'd want to unlock Xbox Live Arcade content, even though it shows up in the dashboard in Aurora, it won't show up under your Recents tab under the stock dashboard. If you wish this to be the case, you'll have to unlock it and then it should show up within Recents. This process is the same for any games on demand or Xbox Live Arcade content within the Xbox 360 Marketplace. Now that you've figured out how to use XM360 for Marketplace content, let's move on to how to use it with DLC. First, you'll need to obtain your DLC container and load it onto your USB. In this circumstance, we'll be using the first strike pack for Black Ops 1. Now, the process for installing DLC is the same across the board for all games on the 360. You'll first need the DLC container nestled inside of a folder with seven zeros and a two. This is for marketplace content. That folder will then need to go into another folder with the game's title ID. You can find this via a simple Google search. Then you'll need to take the folder with the title ID and put that within the content folder on your hard drive within the folder with all of the zeros. In this circumstance, the file path would look as follows. HDD1, content, folder with all the zeros, 41560855 being Black Ops 1's title ID, folder 000002, and then the DLC container. Whenever installing DLC, make sure that you have the current title update installed via Aurora, otherwise you may run into complications depending on the game. Oh, that's peculiar. This engine is here. Sometimes you'll need to unlock the DLC content beforehand. In this circumstance, it appears this one's already been unlocked. If it doesn't show up in the game right away for you, here's what you'll do. Head on over to XM360 and then click Rescan All. This guarantees that XM360 has the DLC in its database. Then click on the Show DLC button. This will take you to a new page with all the DLC currently installed on the hard drive. From here, if you see any lock icons that are closed, that means that you have it, but it's currently locked, hence why it's not showing up in game. If it's unlocked, you already have the DLC installed, and you should be good to go. In the event that you have locked DLC, simply click on the Unlock DLC button, and it should convert all of your locked DLC to unlocked DLC allowing you to enjoy all the happy fun time. Now that should just about cover the basics of XM360. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Modded 360s and You, and I hope to see you in the next one, where we'll cover yet another piece of homebrew software. But until then, I hope that you have a wonderful day.